that is this humongous math when it is written 1 minus sin square pi by 6 by 1 plus sin square pi by 6 into cos square pi by 3 plus cos square pi by 6 cos x divided by cos x square pi by 2 minus cos square pi by 2 divided by uh, sin pi by 3 into tan pi by 6 plus 6 square pi by 6 minus tan square pi by 6. So we can see that we have two formulas here that we can uh, use. Um, so here this part we can convert into uh, cos cos function because we have we know that sin square theta sin square theta plus plus cos square theta is equals to one. So one minus sin square theta will be cos square theta, and I can easily see that I can convert the numerator which is this part and the denominator individually into cos function quite easily. Similarly, we have, um, let me erase, it, erase them, erase them, and similarly, we know, uh, we know that cos x square theta equals, uh, in, my, in the back of my head, I know that cos x square theta, cos x theta uh, is larger than cos theta, and I used to remember which should be the first, then because Sometimes I used to confuse, get confused that which one should be the first. So, uh, so I accidentally wrote once that cos square theta minus cos square theta is equals to one. But later I realized that, uh, or I internalized that cos square theta will be greater than cos square theta. So now I know that cos square theta will be the uh, on the left side of the minus. Okay. So we know that cos square theta minus cos square theta is equals to one, and we can see that. We have a for uh, we have this part, which is actually similar to this part. So we can write cos square theta uh, cos square pi by two minus cos square pi by two. So we can easily replace this part into one. Similarly, we have also another part where we can replace the whole thing by one. That is here, because we know that uh, six square theta minus 10 square theta is equals to 1. So I think I should start by replacing them with the uh, easier values that is 1, 1 and cos square theta. Let me see uh, where I end up. Okay. So I start from the, uh, from the uh, start again. So I can write here. So let me start with the equal sign. You will get uh, 1 minus sin square pi by 6 equals to cos square pi by 6 cos square pi by 6 and on the bottom half we get 1 plus oh I can convert this part into cos square theta because I accidentally uh, saw 1 minus sin square pi by 4 so uh, conversion of this part uh, uh, will be in different way so I am going to write it 1 plus sin square sin square pi by 4 <coughs> so uh, I can directly I can uh, so I won't change this part because I'm teaching you and you do it step by step but if I was writing in my example okay, I would directly put the values of this part okay so I'm not gonna change change them here so I'm gonna keep them cos square pi, cos square pi by 6 and I can change this part into 1 because as I have shown you before cos square theta minus cos square theta is equals to 1 and now divided by there is sin pi by 3 and tan pi by 6 I can write it like sin pi by 3 is equals to root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 and tan pi by 6 is equals to 1 by root 3 and this part will be 1 plus 1 Okay, so let me put the values first and we know that cos square pi by 6 is equals to root 3 by 2. So there is a square, so root 3 by 2 square and we have 1 plus sin square pi by 4 here. So we can write 1 plus 1 by root 2 square, root 2 square. Finally, that will be multiplied by 
cos square pi by 3 plus cos square pi by 6. So cos square pi by 3, uh, there will be no fraction here because on the denominator we have 1 and we don't need to write 1 in maths most of the time. If it is a multiplied or divided form. So we can write the values of cos square pi by 3 directly. So cos square pi by 3 is equal to half. So there's a said say, say to you that the values of cos theta gradually increases from 1, so it decreases from 1 to 0. <coughs> and now we have the value of cos square pi by 3, that is, and I think I should, should use a second bracket here, otherwise it will get confusing. So cos square pi by 6 is equal to um, root 3 by 2, no, yes, yeah, root 3 by 2. It's root 3 by 2 and I square the whole part. Okay. And we can easily cancel root 3 from both sides. We will cancel the root 3 from both sides. We will get half and finally we have a plus. <coughs> so let me convert this part. Mm, we can use the calculator. So we get um, root 3 by 2. And we square it, we get 3 by 4, that is 3 by 4 on top, 3 by 4 on top, and we get uh, divided by 1 plus 1 by 2, because I have directly squared it, so root into root 2 is equal to 2. So we get half actually, the total fraction, uh, measurement of the fraction will be half. So it will be half. Half. Okay, so I then simplify this part again. So we have uh, 1 by 2 square plus root 3 by 2 square. So we get 1, this multiplied by 1, and then we have a division sign that is we can convert it into. Uh, root 2, so you can convert it into multiply sign by actually uh, inversing the fraction and finally we have a plus 1. And now according to the Bodmash rule, because I have Bodmash, Bodmash rule, we get uh, addition here, that is addition, addition here, uh, sorry. We get addition here and multiply is somewhere in the for uh, in higher priority. Multiply. So we will first do the multiplication. And, okay. So if we start the multiply uh, multiplying process, we will see that there's a two here and there's another two here. So we can cancel the two from both sides. So we will end up with a one here because one into one will be one. So finally we can write one plus one and so the total value will be 2. Okay. So the total value will be 2 and so this is how you can easily con uh, convert this humongous expression or this humongous math into a really small part by using some just by some formulas. So this is uh, we have reached the end point that is we can write the answer and move on to the next map and in in this case there is no no uh, no more maths in 8.2 so we are actually finished the chapter 8.2 and hopefully we will see you in the next chapter that is 8.3